Um, what's nice about being the last talker um, is that you're the last talker. What, and everybody has said everything that you were going to say in your notes. So you, you, you can just kind of make it up as you go along. A little about me, um, I, I, I actually worked for Acorn twice. Um, early on, out of welfare rights, and then again, um, I actually coordinated that process that Fred talked about and with the People's Platform. Um, wrote a book about ACORN published in 86 called Organizing the Movement. Um, was the founder, director of the Center for Third World Organizing, trained young organizers of color, um, and the Applied Research Center, um, which specializes in, in, in analyzing issues of race and, and racial justice and pub publishes Color Lines Magazine. Um, and I've looked at ACORN for, for a long time in many, in many ways and have been sort of uh, a friendly critique um, in, in, a, in a number of cases. So if we look at what happened to ACORN, many people have noted that left progressives did not move to defend ACORN. They attempted to cover up and move into their corners. Funders deserted them. Politicians that had supported and who claimed to be allies voted to defund them. And the media, following the lead of Fox News, without any investigation, presumed Acorn's guilt and even gloried in it. Um, this is the same organization that ran a living wage campaign that the New York Times claimed changed the way we think about wages. The same organization that had an ongoing relationship with the first African-American president, the same organization that had clawed back $15 billion in housing benefits, earned income taxes, living wages, and cutback restorations between 1995 and 2005. What the hell happened? Um, that on, in, one, in one very short period of time, you have an organization that is clearly on the upswing, is able to actually garner benefits um, for um, a large population. And what were some of the implications? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna make some observations. Um, first, there's the vacuum. The space that ACORN left is clearly not easily filled. ACORN, unlike what we have in community organizing with regional organizations and, and various coalitions, ACORN was one organization. It was the only organization that had the ability, as they, as they say in the movie, to make five fingers into a fist and to move, one, and to move as one all over the country. That void's still unfilled. ACORN had a centralized infrastructure. Um, there are many critiques of that centralized you know, infrastructure. However, it, it was the centralized infrastructure that gave it the ability to actually move those campaigns. Um, Acorn was mostly not afraid to make enemies. Um, and the style of the organization, the, 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 the ability to do the kinds of protests that Acorn, that, that, that Acorn was, able, was able to do, did make it some enemies. Even people who made concessions to Acorn didn't like Acorn. Um, so we need to, and that tension, um, I think, emerged in interesting ways um, in, in, in the context of, of the organization's de demise. Um, the direct action space with demands, um, I mean, we, we have the direct action space, but we, with demands is, is, is sort of the, what ACORN added to that mix, that space is not filled. And finally, poor people of color do not have a national voice. And it, it's important to actually note um, that ACORN was an organization. This was largely, in my view, a race-based attack. Um, it was not just that ACORN registered voters. It, it registered people of color. It registered Latino and African American voters. Um, the spokespeople were largely people of color. Um, so that attack. Um, on, an organiz on, on, this, on this organization was, was in fact an attack around an organization that had a presence that was clearly racialized. And I think to, I think to ignore that fact in, in, in the context of what happened to ACORN would, would be a mistake. 
Um, so what are some observations? The first is easy. If you are even moderately successful in challenging the entrenched political structure and or corporate capitalism, your enemies will come after you. And even though there's plenty of evidence that ACORN had sort of memorandum that talked about they're going to come after us, they're going to come, they were not prepared for the way in which that the attack came. Um, secondly, um, the way in which all of us have conceptualized community organization um, has been boots on the ground, disruptive tactics, etc. The attack did not come that way. The attack, it was an air war, and we have to, we have to be clear that the game has changed. That the way in which, because what Wade talked about was that ACORN didn't mobilize its base. Fox News was talking to the ACORN base. CNN was talking to the, you know, to the, to the ACORN base. The fact that the communications infrastructure that, um, that ACORN had was, was largely you know, uh, people on, on people was necessary but not sufficient for the way the attack came. So one of the things I, I would say that we have to think about is what is the communications infrastructure, how do you build it, um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, because ultimately, it seems to me, ACORN was judged by the world for what everyone, for what everyone said they did wrong, not for what they did right, and definitely not for what the organization stood for. All right, that those those things were not on the table. Um, so it's it seems to me that the question of being able to communicate um, and message both to your constituency and to the world, and a mechanism to be able to do that on the left um, or amongst progressives is, a real, is, is really a big question. The, the final sort of uh, observation um, is you may be able to um, tear down the master's house with the master's tools, but you ain't using the master's money. <laughs> um, the, 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 it, it, one of the ways that, one of the things that's very interesting about, I mean, um, the foundations actually organize. These are people who um, can't get anything done um, <laughs> unless it takes them two years and many, many, many years. They organized to both control and defund, along with government, um, um, this organization. So I think it's important for us to really rethink this question of where is the money come from. Come from. So I understand that, that in fact, there was a principle in ACORN that, um, that membership dues were a, a serious portion of, of where the, the money came from. But in fact, as the organization got bigger, that the percentage got lower. So you've, you've got to think about where your money's coming from because they can take it away if they are giving it to you. So. Um,